Hi, my name is Thomas Freeland and I'm here with Group 1. We're here to talk about possible ways to optimize Frito-Lay's bin distribution network. Uh, it seems that the distribution network is kind of outdated and there's room to improve. Uh, so the main reasons that Frito-Lay is wanting to look into this is because of the recent trends and driver shortages and the low asset turnover that they're getting through this type of network. The complications involved here are that it's hard to find drivers actually willing and physically capable to unload these trucks. Also, there are a lot of bin locations that are remote to where once a driver gets out there, by the time they're done loading and the time it takes to get there, the regulations, they, they can't turn around and drive back, and so that truck is sitting out there and free to can't use it in other loads. So looking at these complications, we want to ask ourselves three questions. How can Frito-Lay get around having drivers unload the trucks themselves? Uh, is there a way Frito-Lay can optimize its network that can increase asset turnover? And what ways can Frito-Lay, if any, make it easier for drivers to unload to make it faster and easier for drivers to do? To answer these questions, we wanted to look into a few different areas. Uh, one possibility was using an LTL carrier like UPS that already has locations throughout the U.S especially some of you in remote locations that other businesses might not be in, uh, to actually ship and store the product for the DSRs to be able to pick up and take to the locations they need to. Another possibility is working with Frito-Lay's uh, PepsiCo distribution network using Pepsi, Quaker Oats, uh, all of the sister companies that have distribution centers all over the place to be able to use those instead of bin distribution networks, allowing them not to have to use bin locations this would make it easier for drivers, they would have to just drive to the uh, distribution networks to where they would get unloaded and then DSRs can come there and pick them up. We also want to look into opportunities to increase efficiencies for backhauls to reduce deadheads. And finally we want to see if there's any way to make unloading easier for drivers once they get to bin locations if that is what we deem necessary. Hello, uh, my name is Olani Yaboy, and I'm going to be talking about the framework that we have in place in conducting our analysis. Uh, first of all, we are going to primarily focus on the North American bin distribution network, which Frito-Lay has in place. Secondly, we will not only limit our analysis to the Frito-Lay systems, but all other branches under the PEPSCO umbrella. Uh, we'll also outline the direct support model and a channel partner uh, infrastructure into our system to see how we can leverage opportunities from both parties. We'll also study the existing PepsiCo assets and how to leverage the uh, infrastructure that PepsiCo already has in place. Uh, lastly, we'll also focus on the high level systemic and organizational impact that this uh, study will have. Hi, I'm Jason Gringy, and I'll be going over some of the proposed activities to optimize the BIN network. Our first option is to investigate the possibility of using an outside carrier to make deliveries to the BIN networks. First, you need to analyze the demand to each BIN location. Then you need to look into finding an outside carrier that has the capacity to deliver that volume to those BIN locations. Then you need to work with them to come up with a cost structure and to get an estimate for the delivery of these then you would have to analyze how this would impact the company financially. Our second option would be to assess the possibility of working with our sister companies. First, you'd have to identify remote bin locations that are near Pepsi's current delivery routes. Then you'd have to incorporate a delivery process to consolidate the Frito-Lay and Pepsi shipments to be delivered to these locations. This consolidation would increase the efficiencies by creating greater economies of scale. This, in turn, would lead to a lower total cost of delivery to these locations. Our third option would be to analyze opportunities to increase efficiencies for the backhauls and to reduce the deadhead miles. The current distribution consists of a driver leaving a distribution center, delivering to a few bin locations, and returning back to that to, to distribution center. Another 
route that we could analyze would be for the drivers to leave a distribution center, deliver to a multiple bin locations, and ending their trip at another distribution center. And then the following day, pick up at that second distribution center, delivering to another set of bin locations on his way back home to his home distribution center. For us to do this, we'd have to locate distribution centers that are within a one day's drive of each other. Then you'd have to identify bins that are within that network of distribution centers. You'd also have to take into consideration that the increase in cost of wages for the drivers to stay overnight away from home. Ultimately, this would reduce the amount of total bedhead miles in the delivery system. Hey, my name is Karthik and I'm going to discuss is to find ways to make unloading more efficient and driver friendly. The first thing to do would be to analyze our bin network and divide the bins into small, medium and large bins based on the loading and docking capabilities. And then we have to develop a loading strategy for the trucks so that uh, the loads are uh, loaded in a last and first out strategy. The third thing we need to do is to analyze how different loads should be packed differently uh, so that the small load that goes into the smaller bin goes out first and so on and so forth. For the small bins, uh, we can consolidate the loads into smaller packages uh, and joining the boxes together uh, so that the driver can load them onto a hand truck and uh, move them into the bin. For the medium loads, we're going to do something similar but the load size is going to be slightly bigger, but still the driver can use the hand truck. For the large loads, the boxes should be strapped together and placed on a chassis with wheels, which can be pulled out of the truck and pushed into the bin directly without loading onto a hand truck. These chassis on wheels can be either automated or it can be as simple as a skateboard with wheels. Hello, my name is Mizu. Now we need to assess operational impact on free delay. Uh, since there is a change, we are making a change to current structure of logistics. We need to analyze the possibility of interruption that is caused by new structure. And then we can analyze the cost benefit and the effectiveness of uh, four recommendations. And finally, we can investigate and compare the efficiency of new logistics system to our competitors so that we can stay uh, competitive with our logistics systems too. Finally, develop recommendations and a roadmap. We uh, presented four options for new strategies, but we will make a best recommendation that is most effective to free relay and propose roadmap to preliminary recommendations and uh, outline, step to, outline steps to monitor preliminary recommendations. And since we are uh, starting the project from small scale, we will also uh, present how to roll out the approach across the company. Hi, my name is Ming and I'll be going over the timeline for the proposed project. The project will have a 70 day span and will be divided into six teams. The first four teams will each work on the four recommended approaches that we have just introduced. On. Notice that team three needs a longer time to complete this task as it needs to analyze the backhaul truck load of all PepsiCo networks. Then team five and team six will work right after team one has finished analyzing the possibility of using less than truck load carriers. Team 5 will work on analyzing the impact of using the recommended approaches and see how it will benefit across all free delay operations. Concurrently, Team 6 will also start working on developing the recommendation set roadmap. In addition to that, after the last analyzing team is finished, Team 6 will have an ample time of 10 more days to wrap up their findings and propose the best strategy or strategies to the whole company to be implemented. In conclusion, the summary of strategy is as follows. First, investigate the possibility of using a less than truckload carrier. 
assess the possibility of working with sister companies like uh, PepsiCo or Baker Roads. Analyze opportunities to increase efficiencies for back calls. Find ways to make unloading easier and more efficient. Assess operational impact on further delay. And lastly, develop recommendations and program.